All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain... The here. captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. <sighs> A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that... They cannot even fathom! How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Grand Raker. Unifier? Leader Scanner. of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God, right, apparently. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is... I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did she just say Mom? Quill never mentioned the daughter. Hold on! Quill! Kid, are you there? Nova girl! <coughs> yeah, 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 I think so. Let me just see if I can... Hold on! My son. That might... You sure? Get out! That gold was it, Nikki? Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like. Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Oh, see? <clears throat> ah, this isn't weird at all. Doing great! Okay. That was kind of amazing, huh? <laughs> hey, whoa! <clears throat> Thanks. Yeah, mom wouldn't be impressed if I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> Your mom, right. Come on. We need to get out of here. There's a blast door around the corner. We'll be safe there. Here. Help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. <laughs> go, go. <sighs> okay. <sighs> we need to keep moving. This way. Cadet Nikki? Whoa. Just stay I close. knew there was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkie? Oh man, this is bad. Just give me a sec. Come on, come on. You know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B, never undo restraints. Come on, you clearly need my help. No, you're my prisoner, and I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. A senior officer... Whoa! I Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. Don't we establish a special... Are you kidding me? Relax! You're fine! Ish! I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now! Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost. There. Get Got it! Through here! <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself. 
pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Give me the good news. They're all fine. I mean, they all have life signs. So, what's the bad news? They've been processed and put in the brig. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes missile first. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's easy, does it? There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. Are you seriously trying to sneak away on me right now? You literally just said I was doing great. You are doing great. Top five best arresting officers I've ever had. Cool. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. Unbelievable. Yeah, I get that a lot. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just, it's... I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean, it's cool. Your personality. Very cool. Come on, this way. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not, but what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out What you mean? You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. Any day now. Right, right. Just... Taking it all in. I'm still in charge here, you know. Of course you are. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. Is this another one of your bots? Yeah, her name's Jocasta. Uh, she keeps an eye out for stuff. Invaders, trespassers, prisoners who keep wandering off. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know. Because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. I just need to check on all. Take your time. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. 
We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No. I mean, So I never saw you. Heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Almost. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad? Running around with criminals? Alleged criminals? You almost died! Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up? Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner! You're a child! Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa! We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and <clears throat> recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar's secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well. You have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Finally. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom. I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Isn't this like against galactic law or something? No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small, okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? Like, she really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep bop boop, boop boop beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. <sighs> 
So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have them. Can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. On second thought, it's only fair if I ask Chewie. He is a grown Wookiee, definitely old enough to make his own decisions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he says he's okay. So, uh, how are you doing? You okay? Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me th three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 9,000 units in three cycles. Wow, that, okay. That is a lot of money. Look, here, I was thinking that the maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship and a Class II biohazard. I couldn't decide which one to hide. Peter. Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha, we won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 9,000 units is a small price. 9,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, 
units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Uh, can you upgrade me? Pretty please? Ain't this a nice bench? Perfect for tinkering. Ding, ding, done. Nope. Now that that's done, can we get a move on, Jelly Legs? There, all set. Anything else? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. Things under control. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Paramitar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scud wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. Rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. Watching you, tree. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? You appear to be 8,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on, you've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will Scott sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. We will seek to best the I infamous mean, At least I got an idea. I am good. I am. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! 
Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf-9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. There! That's Lady Hellbender's fortress. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. Whoa! <laughs> yep, no problem. We're flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> he can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. It's all gloomy. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer! We'll figure it out on the way! There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast! All that's left is the merchant park! Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there! Never seen anything like it! Meteorological suicide is what it is! Ah. Ew! Ah! Out! Ugh. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, Lord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Hellbender's rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being to- Clark! That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! Yes! <laughs> Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones. 
ones and take cover when they hit, or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger. Yeah, keep words real. Any of you guys, I'm going back to the ship. Whoa! I ever mention how much I hate being wet? Yes. We should have gone to Machu 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking Half World. You think I'm scared of some little. Black! It's not alone. Get ready! They keep moving around! Huh. You must be quicker, assassin! Satisfying to strike! You should try stabbing them! Tearing to flesh the from its bones appears to do nothing! Well, slime speeding up! Perhaps these were sent by Lady Hellbender! I think she's got better things to do! I must reluctantly agree. I can't hit the middle. We need to wrap the spike to side. Forget the jelly. Watch it, spike. Watch your butt. Oh man, why do they have blades in them? I don't know, but cutting into them is pretty fun, right? Stay Run away from time. its sharp edges. You struggle in vain. Why would this thing even exist? Beats me! Dead now, though! So that's what a monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets, but food. They sort of do look like food. I'm out of here. Where the flark is she going? This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. I ain't seen one of these splice waters in years, working or otherwise. Great, we made it halfway up. Now what? Let's see if we can lower that wing somehow. There they are! Wing controls! Alright, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great! 
Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. Where did you learn this clairvoyance, assassin? Huh? You never learned to track? You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax, I'm just looking around. This <laughs> <laughs> further proof that we are not welcome What are you firing at, Peter Quill? Did you see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. His name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. And if we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. <laughs> what about her sister, Nebula? Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a harlot. Right, right. Th that, too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> I... What's the weirdest... ...formed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You can fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quills so... Interesting. I don't lay eggs! Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all a... Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no. It is. It's a retractable bridge. They use them at the prison I... Controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of forking chalks! How will we cross? Don't face Look the around, we'll find another way. Far for you to stretch it. No, the 
The statues are not watching us. Wow! It if you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet! Right. Ah! My shooting's not English. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Think these statues are of the monsters on this planet? Drax, think you can topple this? I may have angered them. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Stop. Stop. Rise oh. up, people. Incoming! <laughs> ah! I was born for this! Buy some time, Grim! Work it! Do your thing! But I will face all the Avengers beasts. Get it out of your system before we get there! My Shall be littered with corpses. We can fly these beasts straight to Lady Hellbender. Rex! I'm not calling you fast, but. Watch the stingers! Only thing worse than a bug is a flying one. Stop them, Gamora! Time's up! Do your thing, Drax! Encounter. I'm starting to make those valley things. Don't jinx us. Beware. Cut to pieces. I will face all of Lady Hellbender's beasts. Don't forget. Weakened! Attack! <laughs> Enough of these inferior creatures. I yearn for monsters. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. Fifty units says it ain't. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have... Oh, she flies now. She possesses flying creatures. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Seknarf Nine. Ha! That, that is preposterous. That Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Oh, an old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infiltrator. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Are we even sure this is the right... Now what's the hold up? Fear. No! Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? Just go. No, you just Someone go. go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. 
Fine. Do not even think of pushing me, assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. Groot says there's something down there. Of course it matters! Oh, no! Yup, definitely saw the guy. Peter! Stop! Peter! No! Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Uh, guys, anyone know what that is? Monster! Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And so, let's we'll scale this down to trap. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good qu question. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Okay, Rocket, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Ta-da! Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Yeah. Perhaps your magical mask can relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. Will you stop calling it that? Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out! Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Novacor weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. 
See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. Alright, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. Need your muscles again, Drax. To where shall I move it? Guys, the creature we fought is still out there. Are we gonna do something with that reactor unit? This unit is tremendously heavy. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. That's a pretty big reactor unit up there, and it's only hanging on by a thread. I wonder if we can pop it loose. At this rate, by the time we get there, Hellbender will have moved on from Monster Collector. What next, Peter Quill? If that bomber's full of old dead Nova, maybe we should, uh, you know, lighten their pockets? This brings back memory! Mm. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I am Groot. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind bubble treetops, here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. And she has not yet tried to kill us. Seth, he gives the credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over. We pile a crap on the ground. So interesting. Looks like there's a way down here. Quill, you gotta see this ship. Okay, here we go! Oh, slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? You think? Son of a schmack, reach! Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, and fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? Clark, Clark. Quill, Quill. I don't know. My blasts, they... i only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull scut like this. Hey, just, come on, you... Just, leave just the guns let me, alone! Let me, I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. 
DNA code in the rocks, some kind of morphing nano sorcery. Here we go again.